This is a tour of a typical cabin, an icon of the seas. It's what Royal Caribbean calls an ocean view balcony cabin, category D2. 14220 is the particular cabin that we're looking at, but what you see here should be very similar to the majority of the balcony cabins on this ship. Of course, not all cabins on Icon of the Seas have balconies, and not all balcony cabins have ocean views, so be careful when booking a cabin. For me, having a balcony with an ocean view is an absolute must. It's a great place to spend time chatting with whoever you've brought with you on the cruise. There are two chairs and a small table on the balcony, and each of those chairs has an ottoman, which can be slid underneath the chairs if you don't want to use them. The thing I like about these balconies on Deck 14 is that there's a big overhang from the deck above which keeps the balcony in the shade almost all the time. And that's a good thing because on a hot day in the Caribbean, if your balcony is not in the shade, it can get brutally hot. But there was no such problem on this balcony. There's a very nice TV in the cabin, perfectly placed for watching movies or TV shows from bed. Right next to the bed, there's a couch. In this particular room, the couch does not open up into a second bed, but if you do want a room that can handle three or four people, those are available. There's a large desk where I like to set up my laptop computer, or some people just use the chair and the mirror as a makeup and hairstyling area. Underneath the desk, there's a refrigerator, and up above it, there's a drawer where you will find a hair dryer. Royal Caribbean was very generous with USB charging ports at the desk, but stingy with the conventional AC power outlets. There are two USB-C charging ports on the right side of the desk, two USB-A charging ports on the left side of the desk, but only one American-style AC power outlet at the desk. Just to the right of the desk, there's also two more USB charging ports. On the left side of the bed, there's an AC power outlet, and up above it, a USB charging port. But on the right side of the bed, only a USB charging port and no AC power outlet. There is ample room below the bed to store your suitcases. Let's take a look at the closet, which sits on the left side of the bed. Instead of having two individual closets for the two people in the room, like they do on some of the other ships in the Royal Caribbean fleet, it's just one large closet that the two of you can share any way you want. Let's start the closet tour with this mini closet, which is hidden behind the mirror. There's a safe for storing valuables like your wallet and passport, and several small shelves for storing a few odds and ends. Just to the right of that, next to the bed, when you open up the two doors, you can see the main closet where you'll store the majority of your clothes. This electronic display on the wall is how you control the heating and cooling, and it's also where you can choose from several different lighting options for the room. Let's tour the cabin's bathroom. Overall, I thought this was a well-designed bathroom, especially the shower design. The glass shower door has a very smart design to open out of the way. And the shower is unusually large. It's actually large enough that a romantic couple could share it. And I really liked this bench that's built into the shower. I don't like the way they put the towel rack inside the shower, though. That's a stupid place to store the towels. And they neglected to include a retractable clothesline inside the shower, which is usually the best way to dry a wet swimsuit. I was surprised to see two power outlets in the bathroom. I wish there had been two at the desk. 
But all things considered, I'd give these balcony cabins on Icon of the Seas an 8 on a 10 scale. And I think you'd be pretty happy with a cabin like this during a 7-day cruise on Icon of the Seas. This is a great ship for families with kids. So many fun things for the kids to do on Icon of the Seas. But it's important to get a room that all members of the family can be comfortable in. So for a family cruise, this particular cabin I've shown you wouldn't work. It can only accommodate two people. But there are other cabins on Icon of the Seas that can accommodate three or four. Some of them even have an entirely separate room with bunk beds for the kids. My suggestion, if you're going to be cruising with kids, is to get the help of a travel agent in choosing the right kind of room for your family. And you're welcome to use my travel agent. She's great. Caitlin Gallagher. And she's not just a travel agent. She is the owner of Ambrin Travel.